Lupin, I mean, could, could this, you know, go to a point where we're seeing like a financial crunch? Um, I think that the, the kind of decline in liquidity that we're seeing in financial markets will be something that will affect emerging markets for sure. But there are countervailing measures like the easing that we've seen from the Fed and likely easing measures that are likely to come from emerging market policymakers themselves. There are certain countries, however, with oil where it is right now, which are going to feel credit stresses. Dr. Rahman, thank you so much for being with us uh, this morning. I want to go to the leakages that can be affected through foreign exchange in your world of emerging markets. We, we ignore them here. We've got the news of the Mideast. We've got the virus, as Karen talks about. How does foreign exchange help these emerging market nations right now? Is it going to be one mass depreciation? Well, I think that um, the FX flexibility in emerging markets is a key measure which will help a lot of emerging market sovereigns really shore up their balance sheets. There is likely to be some depreciation pressures given what we're seeing, particularly in commodity exporting countries. And that is likely to be a, a very normal gradual pace of depreciation that you would like to see from these types of shocks. Um, however, we shouldn't forget that there are other countries, particularly commodity importers like India, like Turkey, where you may see weakness in FX, but the beta adjustment of that weakness may be a lot less than you would expect.